playing for Team Pulse now. Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. Why me? Why me? You get to sit on the sidelines with hope, Saz. He is. I mean, we can't use him right now anyway, so don't worry about it. I just got out of another okay. cutscene. If we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? Well, that's what the long, narrow hallways are for, Lightning. I think... I'm teasing, I I'm teasing, but, uh... So what? Level design... That, that could have been better. focus comes down, people. The Fauci, they don't spell it out with clear-cut instructions. Well, of All course not! That would voice. actually make sense! Mm -hmm. I can't take it That's anymore! You know, they do this all the time in movies where they just create this artificial mystery. Did you see anything? What do we do? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You figure it out. Or I'm going to give you a cryptic riddle just, that doesn't really help you at all. Kind of foggy, even though I could just easily tell you what to do straight up. I mean, towering. Just to keep the audience in suspense. Hold on now. I'm not gonna we introduce any sort dream? of tangible villain because that'll entice the player to keep going on with mystery. I. I'm sorry. What's going on? Oh, yeah, we had some sort of dream or something. I, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, viewers, but. Uh, so, we all saw the same dream. So, they enslave people and then give them a dream to tell them what to do. You mean that was our focus? Really? How are we supposed really, to game? know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. Exactly! Even the, the these guys know that. The Elsie gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Well, okay. fortunately I'm playing this game We're for the battle mechanics, it, right? not for the story. Enemies but, a cocoon. Uh, so, that's just does that dumb. mean that our focus is... <laughs> are we supposed to save her? Say what? Hmm? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay. And why's that? Because Sarah this is a Final Tons. Fantasy game. What did you expect Let's us do to it. do? We're all in this together. We always save the world in a Final I'm Fantasy. Gonna look for At least Sarah. they didn't change she that about nearby. the game. Uh, of course we're gonna save the world. Too. As if that's a spoiler. Wait. Jeez. Yeah, a nice place for your that tattoo, Saz. Really? I was gonna call him Chad for some reason, but no, that wasn't beefy, right? But yeah, Lightning's in the lead now. Kind of weird having Lightning in the lead in a way, even though I usually like her in the lead, but she has the least HP of all the people in my party. Which is weird, you know? Usually the leader has pretty good HP. So, no, I don't want to view the tutorial, so I'm going to give you my own. Uh, we got the Crystarium in Final Fantasy XIII. It, it's basically how you grow and develop throughout the game. Essentially, it's... Pretty much the same thing as the sphere grid, except not nearly as tedious and without providing the illusion of actually having choice. Uh, basically, you see in the upper right there, we have CP, that's Crystarium points, or, well, ability points, essentially. So you can spend them to learn new abilities. Like this one here, that's where you get like a little strength boost or something, and it costs 60 CP. See that at the bottom there. Generally, when you're going for new abilities to learn, you want to go for abilities first, or at least for right now. There's other things we can get besides stats and abilities, but I'll go over that. But for right now, I pretty much want to focus on Ravager, because, you see, we got access to a new element there, and that's basically a totally new command for her to use. So I want to learn that as quickly as possible. So let's go up here, get that, and I don't have enough CP to get that, so that's that. So we just move on down the line. I'm not going to do this on screen for the majority of the game. I just figured, you know, I'll show you how it works. And then we'll just go from there. Uh, yeah, let's get the strength there. Yeah, that's pretty good there. And for Vanille, generally, I like to focus on Ravager over Medic. Uh, yeah, because she can learn a new element there. So that'd be pretty nice for her, too. So, And what I'm going to do, what I like to do in the game is I like to just take a look at my Crystarium every time I hit a new a save point. So that way, you know, I'm not checking my Crystarium after every single battle. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, you know what? I think there's something to the left. Ah, oh, there it is. Am I in the right paradigm? Yes, I am. All right, there we go. Yeah, those guys are easy enough. The enemies will get much harder. Soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Not enough to actually kill you. But uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you when I got my first death in this game, but it was not here. This game's actually remotely challenging, even early in the game. Not right now, but I mean, 
relatively early in the game. But anyway, we got a Pearl Wing Staff. It boosts her magic a little bit, so sure, why not? Let's go for that. Uh, she's Her strength is basically useless because she has no physical attacks. Although, Ravagers can get physical attacks. I probably didn't state the difference between a Ravager and a Commando that well. Uh, commandos get non-elemental attacks. Ravagers get all the elemental stuff. But they even get elemental physical attacks eventually. So that's pretty nice. And here's something I want to show you with this battle. Even though they're the same enemies that we've met up with. If you press the R1 button, you can see what enemies are weak to. And their stats and everything like that. So let's use our new technique, Libra, on one of those whites to reveal some of that information there. Okay, so there you go. You see uh, they are primarily... You see, they uh, frequently evade attacks there, so physical attacks really aren't as good against them. That's why in auto battle, uh, Lightning is using Ruin, because what'll that, what that'll do is it'll bypass that problem of hitting the enemy. So, that's pretty nice. The AI will take uh, the elemental weaknesses and things like that into account. That's what I'm talking uh, I didn't get a chance to show that guy, but gas are pretty much weak to almost everything, but, you know... There you go. And uh, when you use a technique there, like Libra, uh, it uses up, you see in the lower right there, it uses up tech points. And in this particular case, uh, Libra uses one tech point. Every time you win a battle, you get a little bit of tech points back. So, there you go. Uh, hey, what's that sound? It sounds like a hidden treasure! It's not really hidden, but... but I just like saying that. Shut up, I'm having fun. Okay, so we got one, two, okay, there's one more up ahead. I'm just trying to keep track of everything so I know that I'm not missing any treasures or anything. And just so you know, you cannot go back to uh, an area after, once you get through a chapter, you can't go back there for the first several parts of the game, or several areas of the game. So. Just so you know, but there's nothing that, at least as far as I know, that's permanently visible. You can usually buy everything eventually later. So. What's going on? I didn't see a cutscene <laughs> in the uh, Ragnarok. in the uh, mini map there. Usually, there's a little that's symbol there. That's the reason we're Lassi. to stop it, to keep Cocoon safe. Yeah. So, why don't you give us one reason to believe that? Yeah, Ragnarok means so. the end of the world. Isn't that like Norse mythology or something like that? She said I used to, to really be into Cthulhu. Norse mythology. And then she turned to crystal. That's the proof right there. She completed her focus. Oh, yeah. That means ours is to save Cocoon. Yeah, and we got the kick-ass music too. Was the I like snow ours. theme. Our focus has got to be the same. We were chosen to be guardians. To defeat Ragnarok. I'm trying to think of a Final it Fantasy X reference. What the hell it does? You're grasping at straws, son. Pulse Falci are Cocoon's enemies. We just got recruited by one of them. <sighs> oh, yeah. That would be a problem. If I were a betting man... So why would they recruit her put us on the other to side. tell us to save Cocoon so Sarah's and then an recruit enemy us to destroy well, I don't it? Buy it. <laughs> that doesn't quite make sense. Hmm. We have the power to Sarah's save Cocoon. can't be that much older than Snow, though. Focus. Focus. The Falci took Sarah from us, and you want to help it? I'd Who's rather you on? I'd rather you punch me than the sword up to my throat. Nuts. Place that your didn't take long. Your heads. It was like five minutes, well, ten minutes, but whatever. Nuts. They got us. Oh well. Game's over. That's you it. fall off the purge train. Well, yeah, and then they Maybe. turned to crystal. Are you talking back to me? Huh? Dumbass. Huh? Nice gun. Oh, that was so hot. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to uh, show this just because, you know, I want to show how powerful we really are. Oh, that's just so hot. <laughs> okay, uh, this is to show you things that I showed you before. So let's just skip that and take these guys out. One more. <laughs> Oh, I love it! I love being a Lassie. I thought they'd be tougher than that. Of course, that. those were guys we met up with in the Chapter 1, Sycom, yeah? but oh well. It's supposed to be cream of the crop. Yeah, but Cyclone's uh, an anti-terrorist no, task think force. So. They haven't fought a war in centuries. 
A bunch of rookie troops swinging around overpriced toys. Of course, they could have shot at us, so, but what you're telling me, you know, they just sounds stood like there. a regular old soldier has got more training than special forces. Nothing for us, Lassie, to be afraid of. Cut the crap. <laughs> Their grunts might be green, but Psycom's elites are cold blooded beasts. They are. They hit the field and it's game over. Well, we can just hit restart. You know. uh oh. Then let's run away. Ciao. Yeah, we're not actually going to come up with any sort of concrete plan or anything like that. We're just going to follow the narrow hallway there. You don't mind the snow? What's or, man oh, this do? isn't snow. But it's about as close to an ice area as we're going to get in the game. So, oh, well. I like the ice areas. Except Final Fantasy 1. That, that one's different. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's move along then. Where's all the new enemies around here, anyway? Not here, apparently. Oh, well. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, just so you know, viewers, as far as, like, job classes and abilities and stuff go, I'm going to go over more as they become available. I'm not going to go over everything right now because, well, I don't want to overload you guys with too much information. So, it's something I'm just trying to do with... The recordings and everything like that. One thing I do like about this game, at least when they do have the long narrow hallways, they have, you know, the amazing graphics kind of really draw me in. I like that. Whoa, holy crap! Uh, first things first, with these guys, well, I'll just tell you, they're weak to thunder, or, yeah, thunder. So, um, what I want to do is I want to set this to my default paradigm. You just press the square button, that's your default, so you'll start the battle with that because lightning has the thunder spells whereas snow does not so i want him to actually be the commando so lightning can exploit the elemental weakness there uh, so let's take these okay. guys out or can i get a preemptive strike all right there we go easy enough okay so first things first let's use libra on them whenever you run into a new enemy you basically want to use libra on them so your ai will automatically target the elemental weakness. Not just for your main character with auto battle, but for your other side characters there. But you see, it didn't reveal everything up there, like the status immunities, but that'll be revealed as you hit an enemy more often. So let's paradigm shift. Uh, you basically press L1, you can select a new paradigm that you set up earlier. The reason I did that is because when you do it, you get a full ATB gauge to compensate for the paradigm shifting animation there. Whoa, I could actually use some healing. Let's switch to my healing paradigm now. You see, this is how you paradigm shift to take advantage of the different job classes that you have available. But anyway, as far as I was saying about paradigm shifting, uh, to basically get a free turn, I paradigm shifted at the beginning of the battle to a redundant paradigm. That's why I created duplicates of the exact same paradigm there. So I like to call this ATB refresh, although some people call it ATB cancel. But uh, essentially, to take advantage of this throughout battle, my experience indicates that you can only do this like every other turn or something like that. I've heard some people say that for like every ATB bar you execute, you get one half bar towards ATB refresh, which well, I suppose that would make sense. So, But essentially, just shift paradigms every other turn, even if you don't need to change your classes around. All right, and after that battle, what do we got here? We got a silver bangle, all right. Slightly better than an iron bangle. So let's equip that on lightning there, which also gives her the physical wall ability and a much bigger HP boost, which she desperately needs. It's just kind of weird, the leader having so little HP compared to the other party members there, but oh well. Where the hell is that thing? Oh, there it is, it's way up there. It's like, I thought there was a save point around here. Ah, there we go. Just what I was looking for. I need a break from searching for Sarah. But where could she be? Where could she have gone? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.